In this video we're going to test out six pipes versus three pipes versus stock cooler versus uh, four pipes. So this is a four pipe cooler in here. Even though it's only 90 millimeter fans instead of 120, it has two separate towers. Uh, it has six pipes and it has three fans. So this should be better than that, right? The fan looks pretty cool, six pipes in line, they are spread out throughout the uh, heat sinks and they also have three fans and it comes with a special adapter to connect all three wires to one controller. Um, I've noticed that it has a little bit of a wobble over here, so this fan and this fan are attached to this tower and then this tower just sits on the U-shaped part. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, so I got the thermal paste evenly spread out and now we're gonna put the processor on. Okay, the colors are really, really nice, the power came on. All three fans are connected and on. Let's test our blender at 4.2 gigahertz. So let's see what it's gonna pull today with this fan. It was already 83, 85, 86, 87. The RPM is 2500, 88, 89. So already past the temperature that I had yesterday, 90, 91, and it's quite, uh, quite loud. Yeah, it's quite loud. 95, 96. So going for 96 and then it shuts off. So I've tried everything. I've tried a three pipe fan that I had on my old computer performed as well as the uh, um, six pipe fan with three fans on it, but it didn't work much better than the stock one. The, this is the best one that, uh, as far as the performance goes. This is a four pipe uh, made by Deepcool. Uh, it's aluminum, so it seems to be working really, really good as far as keeping things cool. Is it better than the stock one? $20, I'm gonna put a link at the bottom of the video. I'm gonna replace the Risen Spire and see how good this one works. So here we are, uh, this is the new heat pipes. I covered them very, very nicely with uh, thermal paste, it's pushing the air this way. So it was running really, really hot in Cinebench before. Uh, let's run the test, CPU. Okay, so as you saw, uh, we hit this very, very unexpected result. It's always worth to watch my videos all the way over here because I have a surprise. Even though I moved the fan to the back, look what I put in the front. So I was able to adapt the Prism fan on this tower cooler. And man, it makes a huge difference. With proper cooling, this tower cooler works really, really well. Let me show you some benchmarks. And it looks really, really good. Ready to run a test. Here's the monitor on the screen. Let's run a Cinebench. As you can see, I don't even have the power curbs on the fans at anything crazy. And it's holding the processor around 80 degrees in Cinebench at 4.2 gigahertz, 1.3 volts. Let me show you what's going on with Blender, with the Prism fan on it. And you can see the CPU fans are running actually very, very low. I put them on a very, very mild power curb. As you saw, so far it never moved over 80, so that is absolutely amazing. So this is the best setup that I could come up with. Uh, $20 for the cooler, I'm gonna put a link at the bottom of the video. This is all you pay. It comes with a fan and the cooler, $20, that's it. Free shipping. And then I was able to adapt the prism with these little uh, clips that comes in a box on it. And this makes this entire system run a lot cooler, like absolutely amazing. I could put this processor at 4.35 uh, with 1.5 volts and it still stays under um, uh, 95 degrees with this setup so I'm done this is the end thanks for watching let me know what you think at the bottom